Hello guys, my name is Budigit, and welcome to the game, Glade. Now, full disclaimer right away, um, if you cannot handle more serious topics, I would jump off this video, okay? Um, this video is very personal to the creator, and I want to respect that as much as possible. Um, this video is hardly edited, I only cut out some parts where I felt like it was just dead air, but um, I, I want people to really feel what I went through with this because the narrative is very important. Um, this is this is honestly the, the, the truest definition of what I would call a, a passion project. If, if not, it's almost as if I would call it a, a sending off gift because that's really what this is. It's a one last thank you. And that's why I really appreciate this game. Um, this game makes you think. It really just makes you feel like you can reminisce. Um, but it doesn't give you that closure that you're exactly looking for. Uh, it doesn't give you the catharsis. And thus, that's why this game, I really want to give its due diligence. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. This game meant a lot to me. And it's exactly why I like doing videos like these. So, um, love you guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And um, let's jump right into it. Um, I'm gonna try Glade though. I've seen this for a while. I said the last time that I really want to do it. I never got the chance to. Um, we're going to. I've always. I, I just. I really again. I enjoy these games where there's there's questionable meaning and um, this has been in my mind for a while, especially for just trying it out. So, um, this is Glade by Detective uh, Bailey, and uh, Bailey's been. It's, it's an older game now at this point, but um, regardless, maybe it's a classic. Who knows? It has quite a, a good amount of visits, and um, the score is somewhat high. So let's try it. You were happy once. There are wounds that never show in the body that are deeper and more hurtful than anything that bleeds. Oh, I played this. Oh, I, I want to reset. Shoot. I think I played this before. Stay. That's the first one I found. Okay, so here's the first one. Stay. What in the world? Did, 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 did Joe? Br did that chick just give me back shots? Okay. Let's. Is there anything else over here? I'm trying to look for something a bit more. What, why is there this special symbol? Interesting. Apparently, you can go out in the water. Whoa! I just went to a completely different world. were happy once. Is my counter maybe glitched? I don't know. Huh. Whoa. It's like just bring me to random worlds. What? No, we're going. I want to go back down there. Mortem Sibi Onicure? Tristy, this isn't you. It's impossible for me to understand you, but he can. This false reality that you cling to, it won't last. This timeline continues to crumble. A field of lies and dreams grown and cultivated by your broken heart. The built anim a uh, built anim salutato. If someone in chat can look into that, like what that means, that'd be I appreciate it. Whoa, what's this? C 
seems to be a draft for some sort of reality. Drafted proposal. I got I got an an, uh, an award. A draft, and then I got one more. What a draft! Seems to be a draft for some sort of reality. A reality of what? Seems to be a draft for some sort of reality. It still doesn't mean a whole lot to me. This is for you. What? <laughs> nice little Easter egg, I guess. Wait, are those pills? Time out. Seems like a pill bottle thing. Strange. What's to the left? You're grinding it out every waking moment. B. Okay. In the halls to nowhere, there is a push for revolution. The new author makes no argument against it. I got an award called a push forward. A false reality. Clinging, a revolution. Like what what is this? I I could start pulling at straws, but like it feels just so Oh, oh okay, that happened. It, it feels a little too hard for me to make any if I say anything it'll be too much of a stretch. Written paper. Seems to be a draft for some sort of some sort of story pretty good so far okay so what this is about maybe creative endeavor it's about someone writing a story so that's that's clear i don't get what the point is though Seems to be a draft for some sort of story. It's pretty good so far. Same thing. Seems to be a draft for some sort of some sort of story. It's pretty good so far. Seems to be a draft for yep, yeah, same thing. Why is it the same thing over and over again? Seems seems to be a draft for some sort of story right now. It's pretty good so far. Seems to be a draft. Seems to be a draft. Seems to be a draft. Who's this? So there is an actual character here to be looking at. What the fuck? <laughs> Why can't I click on this? <laughs> Why is that important? Okay, there's that has to be a fucking meme. That has to be a fucking meme. This one I can see being important, but maybe it's like if it's based on the people that made the game. Now I'm confused. Can I click oh I can click on all these. Do I want to? Well, there, go, there goes someone that died. Why is there books in the tub? What in the world is this? These false realities, they seem familiar. Just so... Message received. That is not a good sound. Okay, let me um keep that, I guess. Is that like a secret message I need to keep, maybe? 
It could it be a color code? Yeah, I mean, I looked it up, and yeah, the color code says cherry blossom pink. Cherry blossom pink. What does that mean? Maybe it is just color code. Ve vestigal code? Shoot. That's how I want. I think. What? Why can't they get in there? It was opened just a while ago, was it not? What's this? This is not what you wanted? It seems like it has to do something with creation. It has to. And then it seems like there's a question as to the worth of their creation if that makes sense or let's read this again find the well I already got there Love conquers all. That's what it means. Okay. Whoa, what? Where'd I go? Trust us. You deserve so much more. We can fix everything for you. Process, we can fix everything for you. What, what? Who's we? Like, what? I'm not exactly understanding the point yet. And then where I stepped. Oh, it was a box. That's what it was. Trust us. We can fix everything for you. You deserve so much more. Maybe there's symbolism as to, like, people saying that, okay, let's say the creator's goal is not possible. Oh, I did. Oh, there we go. I can't do this anymore. So you've worked tire tirelessly to fix everything. You don't have to do this alone. Help me help you, Tristy. It's five out of five. <laughs> I can't leave the fucking thing. So yeah, you, you got five out of five. Now what? And that's just it. That's the story. Like essentially, you got the main pieces of information for the story. That's essentially what I'm getting. But it's still somewhat confusing, and I think a lot of it is for you to piece together. And I think I want to try to at least do that. Oh, what's over here? Does it have to do with love? Because there was... This game, what? Reject their delusions. Liberate yourself from their lies. You cannot control... They cannot control you. Reject their delusions. Liberate yourself from their lies. They cannot control you. There's definitely a lot of little secrets you can find around the map if you allow yourself to try. 
Drowning. I don't get it. i am be real, I don't get it. Because, listen, you can make ideas, you can think about what this game's about. I don't know. And I don't think, with the information that's given, it's really easy to tell exactly. But there is a character named Tristy, right? And, it's like this one, Mortem Sibi. Let me look this one up now. The last one I found was Love Con Conquers All. This one is, so, I looked up the, I looked up what it means. Um, there's no word, like, this doesn't mean anything up here. However, there is a meaning if you add a C to the last word right in the front. And essentially what it says is, um, the Latin phrase mortem sibi con concierge, concierge means committing suicide. To commit suicide. To be aware of death. To commit suit. Why? Should I say this isn't you? It's impossible for me to understand you, but he can. This is a false reality that you cling to. It won't last. This timeline continues to crumble. A yield a field of lies and dreams grown and cultivated by a broken heart okay now now we can look up this word he went away without bidding anyone farewell he went without greeting anyone that's what google says i don't think that's right he went away without bidding anyone farewell that's what it says though That's the cherry blossom. Perhaps that's what he loved. That's what he wrote about. It seems to be a draft for some sort of reality. This is for you. So, I'm starting to get the story together a little bit. Um, for now, this heavily, heavily, heavily is a story referencing suicide um, and depression. Clearly, it's talking about um, someone going through depression and um, suicide in a manner that is um, silent. And a lot of things I can only make assumptions about. Um, for example, why the writing things it seems to be a draft for some sort of reality. Perhaps that reality could be, you know, obviously them saying that they would like to see a world of this, this, and this, and then obviously they, they go away. Um, they want to go away to a different place and that different place obviously, well, is the end. The only hint we get, which this game gives us lots of hints. They aren't the, like the worst hints because obviously you look around, like you'll see like this is for you, for example, but this right here, um, that's very clearly medication, and we can assume that maybe that they overdosed. And this is their last place. We don't know who the creator is. We don't know why the cherry blossom tree is so um, important, but we can infer between everything that's kind of come together here what the story of this game is. In the halls to nowhere, there is a push for revolution. The new author makes no argument against it. Huh. Hey, Bobby, how's it going? Um, let's just jump back in the void and see where lands us. I bet you'll let us back into um here. Yeah. Day.
there's this one image in particular in the game that uh was about two hands being held and i mean i can't exactly prove it but from that image alone it's almost like from that alone i could tell that the creator just wanted to let if they could talk to their friend again let them know that they do love them it felt good seeing that it felt really good seeing that so This game, it's, um, I don't understand everything. I don't get it all, but the idea about going to different places and the fact it's helped you to all these different areas, I just, um, I can't help but feel like that it is an idea about, I mean, here, you're completely alone, and this is almost like the better place. I, I don't know what the, um, the creator of this game is inherently trying to say or what they're going through. But um, what I do want to say is, you know, as silly as it sounds, I everyone that's watching, um, just know I love you guys, I really do. And um, wait, I know the story of this game. Yes, you are on the right track. It's based on the true story. Wait, wait, true story of what? What was it? what? What true story? What's it based off of? Can you tell me? Well, well, Bobby, one of the closest friends of the creator committed suicide with an overdose. Where is, um, where did you get that information? Is this like something I can read off of? Okay, so there's another game, which I will probably do later. It's called, uh, Vestigial Library. Um, oh, you were asking the owner in DMs. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh man, there's apparently there's uh, another game by them called Vestia, Vestigal Library or something like that. Um, which, that's where you find one of the codes, right? Um, however, this game, you know, you use that. I, I just found it from the chat log, so that's how I found out about it. But um, I I want to talk about this because I don't really, again, I don't exactly understand everything. But from what it, my, you know, my friend here, Bobby, says, um, from talking to the creator, this is about a friend that committed suicide. Um, I can only take assumptions from everything, but um, I can assume each one has like different reasonings for the places uh, for what the uh, would talk about and um, I can almost assume that this this cherry blossom idea isn't even Inherently real. It's just they want to go somewhere that looks better um, They want to go to that better place and that better place obviously is You know what? But this game is about Speaking about that pain and anguish um, in silence, and I, I'm almost happy to know that that five out of five when you get everything, it's just that's information you need. That's all you need. It's not going to give you everything on a silver platter to understand, but it is enough for you to, to take it. Um, the thing that kind of just, like, gave me, like, the information I needed right away was the, uh, reading everything in Latin, and that one where it said, um, leaving without saying goodbye, you know, that's, that's a very hard thing. Um, if anybody's dealt with loss, and I've dealt with my own fair share, um, that is the hardest kind to deal with when, um, you know, obviously you have people that just come and go without any warning um that's hard but i think this game is really hard for me not to talk about like forms of depression and suicidal tendencies which this is uh going to get a little you know darker to talk about which i didn't I really I didn't, I didn't think this game would be about this but i i am very glad i came back to check this game out um to anyone that is thinking about things i i have personally dealt with my own fair share of depression um a lot uh, even now i still deal with a lot of stuff but the beautiful thing about life is that it's yours no one is guaranteed anything and yet here you are there's people that be begging to have the, the chances the positions everything that you have and the nice thing too is life's not boring no matter what 
there's always something. I mean, if you were to look what, let's say, I'm 22 now, right? If I were to look 22 years backwards, would I be able to, let's say, like, at age 10, 16, even 20, guess where the hell I'd be now? No. There's no way in hell. And yet, here we are. And... I just want everyone to know that you are beyond valuable. Beyond valuable to the point where even me explaining it in a verbal way was not enough. Okay? And to everyone that is, is going to be watching this, because I'm, I'm hopefully going to upload this to the YouTube. Um, I may not know you. I might never see you. But um, I'm a Christian. And uh, my brother and sister in Christ, if I ever do see you, and, you know, if someone ever needs to talk or we get serious like that, um, regardless, if there's anyone else that bears illness against you, know that I care and I love you. And uh, there will always be a spot, um, whether it's through me or I, I even know other friends of mine that would be terribly saddened to know that there would be someone that... um. wouldn't be here and when you're able to realize how valuable you really are not in an arrogant way but just in a factual way for what you're able to do it's it's a blessing it's a blessing so um love you guys um you guys stay blessed and um if you're watching this on youtube thank you for being here i'll end on that my name is Lord Sam, and i'll see you guys in the next one